Form 24 family, Levi Jekyll back in the garage with another video. Uh, today we are going to be talking about my Rogue Operator 3.0 barbell. Um, we're going to be talking about this for two reasons. Number one, this is my favorite Rogue multi-purpose bar uh, that I own. Um, and so I kind of want to showcase showcase it for that reason. It's kind of my favorite, you know, so I want to share that. But then two, uh, when I was looking to buy this bar, um, not quite a year ago, it's been like 10 months or so, uh, but when I was interested in buying the bar, uh, there wasn't a lot of content about it and I couldn't really find any videos about kind of the questions that I had. So I wanted to make this video kind of answer the questions that I had 10 months ago. Um, and maybe if you're interested in the bar, this will kind of give you a little sneak peek. Okay, so I've got the barbells set up. Um, so we're gonna jump back there and take a closer look at them. Uh, we're gonna be looking at the operator bar, obviously, uh, but then I've got uh, an Ohio bar right next to it and a lot of people are familiar with that bar. So I thought that it would be fun uh, to kind of give you like a direct look at that. Um, and then I've got uh, the Matt Chan bar. So uh, very similar barbells, but also differences in a few ways, which we'll talk about here in a minute. Let's go take a look. Here we go. Um, three barbells right here. Uh, right in the front, this black one. Uh, this is a Rogue Ohio bar. Uh, this is an, in the E coat coating. Um, the middle, this is the operator bar. Um, I have it in olive drab green. Olive drab green? Olive drab green. Uh, OD, Army Green. Uh, and I think that it just looks awesome. Um, and then here in the back, we got an old school. Matt Chan bar um, that's got a little damage to it, which we'll get to that here in a little bit. Uh, but hopefully this is showing up right on camera. Um, and then beyond that, hopefully like a good YouTuber, um, I'm kind of giving you some, some close up B-roll footage um, of these three bars. So um, let's get into this. You know, this is, this is kind of a great comparison and it's kind of a tough comparison because it's not exactly apples to apples. Um, there are differences in each of these bars. Uh, that doesn't make it like a direct comparison video. But um, this is gonna give you a good idea on like what you can expect from this operator bar. Um, so talking about the Ohio bar um, first, this was the first bar, or this is the oldest bar that I, I guess oldest to me, um, at least right in front of me. Um, I got this brand new from Rogue um, about a year ago. So this one lives at the gym, um, and this is definitely like our daily driver. You know, this bar gets picked up multiple times a day, um, every single day. So it's seen quite a few miles um, for only being a year old. Um, and then this operator bar, I got it right at the end of the year last year. So it was uh, late uh, December or mid-December uh, 2020. So don't quite have a year with it. Um, and then this Chan bar, um, I made an entire video about this Chan bar. Uh, this was a Facebook Marketplace steal. Um, somebody was selling it, some lady wanted it out of her garage. Um, I don't know if she knew what she had um, or if she just literally wanted it gone, uh, but she sold it to me for a hundred bucks. Uh, now, this bar is damaged um, and maybe she knew that and that's why she threw it up so cheap. Um, so the knurling on the very ends is super damaged, uh, but as you can see, you know, it's, it's damaged outside of like even where like normal J hooks are. So I don't know if this thing was just like sitting on like a terrible rack um, for a long time to damage the knurling like this. But you know, when I saw this pop up, I figured that this would be a perfect garage gym bar for me. So um, it is stainless, which is awesome. Um, and it just gets absolutely thrashed out here in the garage. So obviously Tampa, Florida, you know, it's hot, it's hot today. Um, it's always humid. Um, and so this bar sees a ton of heat, a ton of humidity, um, and then every time I'm out here training, I'm just like dying in sweat, and so it sees a ton of sweat. So having a stainless bar out here that's already damaged, that I don't feel guilty for beating up, uh, that's also an excellent, excellent bar, um, was like perfect for me. So that's kind of the quick story behind um, the Chan bar. Uh, so. Let's talk about the knurling real quick because I think that this is the reason why the operator bar to me is like my favorite bar to use. Um, the Ohio bar, a lot of people have experience with this Ohio bar. Um, I think that the Ohio bar knurling is a little passive. Now, I understand that the different coatings on the Ohio bar do make a difference in how the knurling feels. Um, and that's why I say that this isn't quite an apples to apples comparison, B 
because <clears throat> this is the E-coat um, coating on the bar. I'm not sure if I would have the same opinion if it was Cerakote. So the operator bar is a Cerakote coating on it. Um, and personally, I absolutely love the way that that feels. Kind of that, the texture is just kind of like flat and grippy um, just by itself. So even like the center part, uh, the center part on this bar is more grippy than the E-coat and the stainless steel um, material. So just the nature of the Cerakote, I think, adds a little bit of grip to it. Uh, but then I think, actually I don't think, I know that the knurling on this bar is more aggressive than it is on the Ohio bar. So I'm, I'm kind of a nerd about barbells, but I'm also... You know there are people that are much more educated than I am. I'm pretty sure that the Ohio or that the operator bar is just kind of like a dressed up um, and themed Ohio bar. So I think they put some military themes into this uh, operator bar. But other than that, I think it's pretty much like a carbon copy. Um, I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's basically just like a, a military themed Ohio bar um, in some color schemes and uh, with a special end caps. Uh, you know that you can't get any other way other than the, the operator bar so I think it's just a kind of like a tricked out Ohio bar um, which I like that but the knurling is different so this is a much more grippy bar um, and it is sticky 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 to your hands I absolutely love it um, the Chan bar it has a really unique knurling to it as well um, and it's the only bar here uh, with the center knurling I guess you can call this knurling. It's really, really passive, um, and it's it's not sharp and it's not aggressive at all. So different knurling on the outside than what's here in the center on this chan bar. Uh, but I think that the the operator bar is even more kind of grippy and sticky than the chan bar. Um, I do like the chan bar, um, and like I said, I'm using this when I'm super, super sweaty out here in the gym, um, and. You know, I am thankful for that more aggressive grip on the Chan bar, but I still think the operator bar is a little bit more aggressive. Um, now, I haven't felt uh, the Rogue Ohio Power Bar. So I know that the, the Ohio Power Bar has even more aggressive knurling than any of the three bars here, um, and I personally don't know what that feels like. So, you know, there might be a little bit more to be to, to be desired, but, you know, for, like, for a multi-purpose bar, this... This operator bar, I think, has the perfect knurling pattern. Um, it is sticky, it doesn't tear up your hands at all. I don't get my calluses torn off um, at all. Um, it, but it, it just like, man, it just sticks to your hands. Um, the Ohio bar and the operator bar, they say at the gym, so they're in a, like a controlled air conditioned environment. Um, and so that's why they look, you know, pretty much brand new. Cause I mean, we use them hard, but we also, take care of our stuff and they're in a, an air conditioned environment. So, you know, they look, they look pretty good for as much uh, use as they get. Okay. So I did specifically want to mention squatting, uh, between these three bars. Um, cause there's a big difference here between the three of these bars. Um, all of my personal PRs have come on the operator bar. Um, and part of that is just that, you know, every time I've, had a squat PR, it's been at the gym. Um, and if I'm at the gym, I'm gonna be using this operator bar. Um, I have not attempted a PR here in the garage, which if I did, I'd be using the Chan bar. Uh, but there are some differences regardless. Um, this Ohio bar um, with the Eco coating, this is a really sheen. I mean, I'm sure you can see just the sheen and the reflection um, of the lighting. This is slick. Like this is about as slick of a metal coating as you could get. So um, having this on your back, and I'm a, I'm a shirt wearing type of guy, um, so I'm not taking my shirt off uh, to train hardly ever, but having this on a sweaty shirt, um, it is slick. I can definitely feel it spinning on my back sometimes. Um, the Chan bar, even though it's got this passive knurling, um, I don't think that this knurling really grips a whole lot to your back. Um, that's what it's there for. It's there to stick to your back a little bit more, but it's so passive that I really don't think it makes a big difference. And it's super narrow. It's only four or five inches. 
Um, so, you know, when that's sitting on my shoulders, uh, my shoulders, like most of the contact in my shoulders and my scaps are on this smooth, unnerled part anyways. Um, and again, with the, this is a, a stainless steel bar and it, it's super, super sweaty. It, it gets slick as well. Um, I'm sure that that center knurling does help a little bit, but you know, I can def like I, I have to think about it sometimes when I'm like really squatting um, to make sure that that is on my back appropriately. Now with this operator bar, that Cerakote, I just love the way that it feels. It just can grip a shirt. Even if you've got a sweaty shirt on, that Cerakote just grips a shirt and just sits right on your back. And I think that, you know, between the Cerakote coating um, and the cut of the knurling um, and the feel of this bar, that's why it's like my favorite one to use. Um, I think that that combination is just money. Um, I don't have a Cerakote Ohio bar to compare it to. Um, I would be really interested to see how that felt. Uh, but I do have a black zinc Bella bar and a Cerakote Bella bar. I've got the pink Cerakote Bella bar um, at the gym. And the differences between uh, the black zinc Bella bar and the Cerakote Bella bar do not feel like the differences between these two. Um, I don't know, again, if it's just that this has a different cut in the neural or what, but the differences between those two um, is not as extreme as the differences between these two. The last thing that I wanted to talk about was just the military theme. Um, for me personally, having a military theme barbell in the gym works seamlessly. This is something that people love to use. I personally love to use it for that reason. Um, and then a lot of my clients and a lot of my athletes also love to use that. We do work with current um, active duty um, personnel, military personnel. Um, and then we, we work with a lot of former military personnel. Um, and then this spring, we actually had our first guy uh, that trained with us for a couple years. He was selected um, into a special forces um, team. So, you know, the, the people that are coming in and training with me at Perform 24, they know that there are, you know, that, there are, that there's a little bit of a military flavor um, or that there are military people walking around the gym with them. Um, obviously, this is a very tight-knit community, um, and so most of the people that I work with are, are not veterans or not current active duty, uh, but they know that there are those people in the gym as well. And so, you know, they kind of take interest in that just because we're all in the same room together. Um, and so, you know, for that reason, the, the military-themed barbell does really well um, with that group of people. Uh, people really enjoy using it. Um, and then the pro athletes that I work with, you know, it's, it's kind of one of those funny things where, you know, actors want to become sports stars and sports stars want to become rappers and rappers want to become actors. Um, it's kind of the same thing where like the athlete population and the military population, like they just mesh like perfectly. So all the athletes that I have in uh, that use this bar, I mean, they absolutely love it. They know that like when they grab this bar, like this set means something. Um, and they, you know, they, they add a little extra spice uh, to their training session uh, just because they're using this this operator bar. There's been a lot of funny little side comments, you know, like don't let down America, you know, like you got to make sure that you nail uh, these reverse lunges or these squats or these front squats or whatever we're doing with this barbell. Uh, so just having that element in the gym, I think is also um, a very big plus. So that's going to wrap up today's video. Um, hopefully this gives you like a little bit more of an in-depth look um, at the operator bar. Um, as you can see, it's sitting next to a, a rogue Ohio bar um, and then a, a Matt Chan bar. Um, I would say if your rogue Ohio bar is like your daily driver, this is like the Toyota Camry that you can buy and literally drive for 70 years, um, then the operator bar is like a tricked out forerunner um, or maybe like a, a tricked out old school Land Cruiser or something like that. And then the Chan bar, I don't even know where it would fit in that analogy, uh, but it's a little bit more flashy. So maybe it's like the Lexus version or something of the, of the Toyota, but it's a little bit more flashy. It's got a few more features. Um, this one spins the best out of the three of them. Um, I don't know if that matters to you. I don't do a ton of Olympic lifting, uh, but this one does spin a lot better than the other two. 
Uh, but you know, all three of these kind of have their purpose, um, and all three of these have their own special qualities. Uh, but for me personally, this Ohio or this uh, operator bar um, is awesome. Couldn't be happier uh, that we've got it in our arsenal at the gym. That's going to wrap up today's video. As always, train hard, live full, and I'll catch you in the next one.